An exciting weekend ahead as Vodacom Super Rugby marches on to round 15. All the South African franchises will be in action across Friday and Saturday. We'll also just uh, take a look back and touch on what happened in the uh, Vodacom Cup final, which took place last Friday in Kimberley. And our special guest today will allow us to do just that. We're talking about special guests. Let me start by introducing him and welcoming, welcoming uh, Peter uh, Engeldo, who is uh, the acting head coach at uh, GWK Griquas. And of course, the old firm of Nick and Nas joining us today. Alma is on the touch screen, but really good to see all of you gentlemen. Peter, I'll start with you. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, you, you'll be feeling a little bit tired, a little bit bup after all the celebrations in, in Kimberley over the past couple of days. Yeah, it was a fantastic evening and uh, a long night. We only got out of the change room about 11. And, uh, you know, I was delighted for the players. And, uh, yeah, I went to bed early after that, to be honest. And, uh, but I had a good weekend. But I'm pretty sure what was happening in the change room had nothing to do with uh, talking about uh, <laughs> the match and stats and so on. No, definitely not. I mean, the boys worked exceptionally hard and uh, put a lot of effort uh, into the campaign. And, uh, you know, we started off in November. And, uh, you know, it was our goal to get to the final and to win. It was an added bonus. That certainly was. It was wonderful. Yeah, Peter, the, the, uh, the game you played in the semi-final was, uh, seemed to me to be your toughest. Obviously, playing at home is a big advantage in the final, but to beat the Pumas away was an mm. unbelievable performance. You must have been really proud. What, uh, what got your team right for that? Look, the reality is the Pumas obviously beat us in the two playoff um, relegation games and then also uh, beat us in the round-robin stage. Uh, and then we had to travel back there and, uh, you know, we did our homework and we realised how not to play against them and also we focused on what they do well. And, uh, you know, they're a tough team to go beat there and, uh, you know, I think that was the big step for us and give us confidence in the next stage of our campaign as well. OK, going on to the next stage, it's now trying to qualify for the Curry Cup. Yeah, I mean, that's our biggest goal for the year. The Vodacom Cup was part of the campaign to give us the confidence and motivation. And now the next stage is obviously we want to be in the Curry Cup top division. Uh, well, Nas, while well, we're talking, and obviously a lot of the focus of today's uh, show will be um, the Super Rugby uh, competition. Just in terms of, just and just to touch on it, uh, the Sharks and their achievement and what it means for the South African conference as a whole. Uh, and of course the other South African teams also seem to play ball. So we're looking a lot better off <laughs> this week than we were two or three weeks back. Yeah, for sure. And I think you just go back to one game, and that's uh, the Crusader Sharks game. I think that was exceptionally done, uh, well done by, by the Sharks, especially away from home. Everybody went on last win since 2001, and nobody actually can beat the Crusaders. And, and the Sharks did it, and they did it in style. Uh, but I still believe that the Crusaders will look at that and, and ask themselves sometimes, but... How did we allow this? Because if you look at that last try, and I thought that was a, a very, very good try, but they were like, game was over, and then suddenly they realised, um, you know, the Sharks scored. Yeah, it certainly was phenomenal to see. Um, Peter, I, I don't want to refer to you as a Northern Hemisphere coach, but you have been based in the UK for 10 years. I'm pretty sure you've been watching quite a lot of Super Rugby. When you look at what's happened in the last couple of years, New Zealand teams always dominant uh, this year. It's taken the South African teams quite a while to get going. Do, do you think uh, uh, that there's something that we should be concerned about, or are we just slow starters? Look, I think the competition always favours uh, the other two um, competitors. And the travelling-wise for us is obviously a disadvantage. Um, having said that, though, um, you've got to look at the Sharks and what they achieved against the Crusaders, and I think it's been a fantastic performance. And I think, uh, you know, with a bit of effort and uh, focus in the last few games, we can, we can do well. Uh, just uh, to look back at that Vodacom Cup final, it's two teams, probably the most uh, successful teams in a Vodacom Cup. Uh, and you guys did meet earlier in the season. Were you quite confident, knowing that you'd beaten the Lions before, that you'd be able to do it again, especially playing at home? Yeah, I mean, it's, I think uh, Nas and Nick will agree. Uh, Griquas is a difficult place to go and play. <laughs> um, you know, we've caused a couple of upsets in the past. And, uh, yeah, we took a, a tremendous amount of confidence from that first game in the round-robin stage. And, uh, you know, t to give uh, credit to uh, Russell Winter and his team, they, they travelled away to two games yeah. previous to that where they beat the Sharks and the Bulls. So uh, they had a fantastic effort. Peter, that try, the one we've just seen, I thought was absolutely fantastic. It was uh, just outside your 22, 
great little chip from the fly half. Center ran onto it, a wonderful offload. I mean, there are not many teams that look for that space behind the defensive line. Had you, had you noticed that the, the uh, Lions fullback was very deep and that there was space behind the first line and the third line, really? Yes, I mean, both Harvey's and Peter, um, you know, we looked at those players and Peter doing the analysis for us picked that up as well. And uh, we saw it during the match and we got a signal down. But to be fair, Francois Brimmer has also picked that up a lot. And uh, he's worked a lot on that himself um, to perfect that little chip kick. It was fantastic. I mean, so precise. It has to be accurate to work, but yeah. it's, it's high very risk, effective. but high reward as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but still, you, you've coached 11 years overseas. Yes. You've been back now. Is there a big difference? Uh, I want to start, say, quality wise, player wise, coaching thinking about coaching, uh, methods of doing it differently? Yeah, I think if you start with the players, the, the talent in this country is unbelievable. And, uh, you know, it's a credit to the country and long may it continue. I think the coaching, uh, the work ethic and the, the focus on the job itself is a lot higher in the, well, in the UK with oh, my experience. That, okay. The time spent working with players, uh, the way players are managed, um, and just the things they do is, is very different to what I've experienced here. Having said that, I mean, that's why I'm here. Harvey's and I, we get along very well, and he shares a similar philosophy and work ethic to me. So okay. I think that's why we're going to do well together.